Hello, beautiful souls. I don't know if the camera tilted. Hmm. I think it might be. Sorry, I'm like, it's kind of feels like it. Anyway, hi. Uh, welcome into the mandala reading. This is general. This is going to be for any sign. Uh, the very first mandala of 2021. Very excited to do this reading, see what spirit has for us. What messages do we need to hear at this time? Um, we're going to pull some oracle cards. I have a couple oracle cards here and some on standby over there to see where spirit, where spirit takes us. Um, excuse my comfy attire. <laughs> Sunday, just hanging out, doing some readings, channeling, talking with you guys, chatting with spirit. All right. <clears throat> oh, the one already popped out. Let's see. 393. 393. Okay. 393. Oh. <laughs> I uh I opened the book at Dragon Energy. Dragon Power, rather. Dragons have been coming to me so much lately. Uh, one small one swallowed me up in a dream and I was like what but it, it was it was lovely actually because I entered a dimension because they help you see the inner and outer dimensions but anyways we're here to talk about freeing the wild swan oh free yourself as the energy that I'm feeling here freeing the wild swan Freeing your love. Freeing your truth. I've actually never seen this one before. This is beautiful. Mm. It feels like outside forces are chaining you. Chaining. Making you feel chained. Alright, let's read it. The chained swan suggests power under the subjugation of reason, a travesty of what it means to be wild. In this meditation, we aim to release the bird into its true element at the same time as we release our spirit from its confining bonds. Gaze on the feathers within the outer border of this mandala, tokens of the possibility of flight and reminders that earth is not the only element in which we can live. Now move inward to the two concentric bracelets of interlocking change. chains. Excuse me. These represent the human world, the imposition of order into nature, and they also denote the price we pay for such control. Perhaps our dominance over nature can chain our own souls and prevent them from flight. That's powerful. Because look at what we're doing to nature our own dominance over nature, the, the, the constant uh, take and take and take that we, that we remove from nature. We take so much from Mother Earth. We take so much so fast that I feel like Mother Earth doesn't have time to replenish. This is the price we pay. Anyway, look at the swan, tamed by humanity. Focus on the radiance of its white feathered body, infinitely more dazzling than, than the gold necklace. Imagine that love is pouring from your heart into the crea creation. Is Mercury in retrograde? I don't know. Gosh. Let me say that again. Imagine that love is pouring from your heart into the creature's wounded soul. In your loving imagination, you can release the swan to fly to freedom. When the swan of the soul takes flight at last, it needs neither signposts nor maps. On account of its dazzling white plumage, the swan symbolizes light in many of the world in many of the world's cultures. It has something of a hermaphrodite nature, suggests suggesting masculine power as well as feminine gracefulness and intuition these two qualities combine in the germanic or 
Germanic myth of the Valkyrie warrior goddess named Kara, concerned to protect her warrior lover Helgi during a battle, Kara flew over the fl over the fighting in her swan's plumage and sang a song so sublim honestly <laughs> and sang a song so sub limily soothing like a like a lullaby that the enemy entirely lost their will to fight in its combination of strength and purity the swan is not unlike the unicorn and the creature can be incorporated into your meditations in a similar way There's a quote here that's titled, Love's Wings. The way to heaven is within. Shake the wings of love. When love's wings have become strong, there is no need to trouble about a ladder. Free yourself. Free yourself. It's the message here. Free love, free your love, uncage yourself, release your restrictions. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Thank you, Spirit, for that beautiful message, although I did butcher it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oi, getting tongue tied. Oh my god. Let me try this shuffle, one more shuffle spirit, and then let's get into the animal spirit. Thank you, spirit. Okay, let's shuffle. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. This is number 22. Could be seeing 222 two, two at this time, but look at you taking flight. You don't need a map. You don't need a compass. You don't need coordinates. When you free your spirit, when you free your love, when you know your truth, Everything falls into place. It's just like you intuitively know, like the swan, the direction, and that masculine ener energy within you is all about taking action. This is about your intuition and that force of taking action to take flight. Knowing your direction, truth transcends illusion. A lot of us are in this moment, this period of understanding our truth, of understanding our restrictions. I feel like the Saturn and Jupiter con conjunction really put that into focus of what are our restrictions. I feel like it really and truly brought it to light. What keeps us bound? They just, I just got shivers because they brought me to um, reminding me that earth is not the only element in which we can live. And there's no coincidences why I was talking about the dragon. Because the dragon that swallowed me up looked, <laughs> looked at me right in the face and then swallowed me up because I went to another dimension. We live in other dimensions. Some believe we also live in alternate realities right but this is about your spirit soaring this is about letting your spirit flow letting your spirit go you don't just live on earth earth is not the element in which we can live we also live in the ether oh look at this more f air animals more air spirits that are coming through you hear the moth spirit surrender now this is number 39 which is also number 12 
and you have here cat spirit claim your independence this is interesting and look you have be peace Ooh, you have crow spirit here wow mm. rabbit now is a lucky time panther reclaim your power oh You know, crows can see all realities in one. They can see the past, present, and the future, right? Alternate dimensions. We were just talking about that. But here you have dove spirit, be peace. It's going to take these three. Let's get into the tarot. This is a blended tarot. This is um, blended with the animal oracle and the wild unknown tarot. This is interesting here with the cat spear. I'm gonna shuffle this one one more time. Because this feels like on earth, you're claiming your independence here with the cat spirit as well as freeing your spirit in the ether to fly, to soar, to help navigate you. This is very symbolic of your intuition. So it feels like earth and ether, right? It's like you're fusing these two elements together. They're flowing with one another instead of being separate from one another. Does that make sense? It's kind of like the energy that I'm getting here. Thirteen is also death and rebirth, right? Scorpio energy. Let's go. Thank you, spirit. The overall energy, please. The chariot. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom is yours. You're wild. Right? The horse. Hor this is the wild horse. And we have the mandala freeing the wild swan. You are wild. This is about movement forward. I love that they were saying that you don't need a navigation system. You don't need coordinates. You don't need a map. Your spirit just knows where to go. Your intuition knows where it's leading you. And I feel like this chariot and this cat spirit very representative of earth the earth element, right? And the ether element here. So you have earth and ether. Again, it's like this fusing of energy, working with these two elements together, knowing that you're both, you can live in both of these elements. The chariot is also both of these actually, because now they're saying the chariot is both. The chariot is a representative of that fuse that they were talking about earlier, that blend of the earth element and the ether element, the spirit. Because of yin and yang, they're showing me. You're just charging forward. Seven of wands. Bear with me as I get these cards out. You have your stingray, excuse me. And you have your tarantula. So interesting, because just like by the imagery, this the moth spirit and the stingray look quite similar. Obviously very much different. water you have fire elements this is not just about you know living on earth like that element but also ether spirit fire water it's like all elements of nature right we 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 can live in <clears throat> you have here moth if it oh you have here moth twice wow that's beautiful surrender now that is beautiful moth spirit twice sorry let me put these in the middle
the Four of Wands. Oh, looks like an eyeball. In your third eye. The Crocodile. This actually looks like a dragonfly. Excuse me, the Nine of Wands. Last one. Bat Spirit, and you have your gazelle at the bottom. That beautiful, gentle spirit. Freeing yourself, being open, finding your inspiration, your truth. This is your truth. You're opening the door to your truth. Truth transcends illusion. What is elusive for you? I feel like this is a question that we ask ourselves. These illusions can be displaced by society. Okay, there's many illusions in society. There's many distortions. But also, let's dig this deeper into ourselves. What illusions are in our lives that's immediate, that touches our lives? right so think about those illusions think about what is elusive to you think about what's hidden what does what does your intuition tell what does your intu intuition tell you what does your third eye tell you okay i feel like these are what's being released these illusions are being released while well, they're going to be revealed first before they can be released right and then that's when we transcend them but in order to transcend them, we need to surrender to the flow, right? I think I mentioned that they showed me um, a spiral. Did I say that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Water, being with the flow, right? I don't know if I mentioned that. I forget so much when I channel. <laughs> oh. I feel like a lot of illusions in your life are going to be revealed, okay? It's like that that aha moment, that light, right? That just illuminates what's in the dark, illuminates the illusions, the elusive energy in your life. This is about your intuition because I'm, I'm literally seeing a third eye here. With the moth spirit, the stingray, this crocodile, this is about being patient and being still. This is also, for, for a lot of you, I'm getting this message of really focusing on just yourself, not really, you know, try not to focus so much on other people's progress. Like your progress is your own. Okay, this is about being still, being calm, being patient. I also feel like for some of you, this is what's really going to help you surrender because surrendering is one of the hardest things for me personally to do because I do want to control. I do resist a lot because I want to know everything and I want to control everything. And that's one of the biggest lessons is to be patient and be still, right? For some of you, I'm also kind of feeling here with this crocodile, it could be this, like what's lurking, you know? It's like these illusions are lurking around you, okay? And I feel like this thing right here, this is like you're navigating these waters. You're navigating waters, you're navigating systems, you're navigating structures around your life. You're navigating these. Sorry, my phone is dying, but we got time. You're navigating these with uh, fluidity, right? You're going with the flow. You're surrendering. You're balanced. This, this stingray has all of the chakras here that are aligned. This is about being aligned. 
and I kind of felt like the stingray kind of reminds me of the moth. But do you see here how they were really emphasizing in this message that we don't just live in the earth element? Like we can, like, I'm not saying that we're going to live in the water element, or, but what I'm saying is that our spirit, our, our consciousness, like we can expand into those elements. We can fuse with those elements. We can understand those elements. We can integrate those elements in our lives for the betterment, right? So I feel like this is like this transcendence that this dragonfly spirit is talking about. Transcending and working with these elements, releasing the illusions, okay? Releasing kind of like what lurks beneath the surface using your intuition And you're transcending here this this transcendence is going from water to air And we can do this by surrendering and just allowing the energies of our lives to just flow with all of these different elements that we experience and just aligning to them I, I feel like here, this is interesting with the tarantula um, because this is this fiery energy, this fire, this passion. And I feel like you have a direction right here with, with Chariot. Your intuition just knows where it is, where it's directing you. I feel like there's going to be people on your path that are going to like create obstacles as you ascend right again like transcendence here transcendence imagery remember how like the swan they were saying that it's masculine and feminine energy right so this is about taking action in your life to move forward you're taking the action to move forward you're, and you're using your intuition, that feminine energy, to do so. So this is like you actually, you know, taking the necessary steps that you need to take in your life. But I feel like here with this like fiery tarantula spirit, I feel like there's going to be people in your life that are going to create obstacles as you progress. Right? But that's what this mandala was saying. The swan was singing this beautiful subliminal song that everybody just like stopped the battle. And it was this like a loving song. It was this compassionate song. It's like no one, no one fought anymore. Like it just brought this amount of peace to everybody. So I do feel like we're becoming um, like peacemakers. We're finding resolutions we are you know claiming our masculine and feminine energy okay it's like we're dissipating these obstacles again like water like it's soft but it's also powerful and look at this beautiful air energy with claim your independence this is about claiming your spirit you you soaring the bat spirit here um represents a rebirth a rebirth is assured um but this is also i'm getting like because they're bringing me to that polarity like that masculine that feminine energy that yin and yang that light and dark right and that's what I'm getting here with the, you have the double moth spirit of surrender now. Surrender to the polarities. Surrender to your opposites. Surrender to both of that. Surrender to your truth. And free yourself. I feel like once you surrender to your truth, freeing yourself just becomes easy. Like the, the chains just like magically fall off. Right? Claim your independence. And here you have gazelle. That beautiful grace energy, that feminine energy that the swan represents here is represented with the gazelle. Again, this earth 
energy, um, earth and fire energy as well. It's like using our compassion, using our the unconditional love. That is that is powerful in itself, but also embracing the masculine energy within ourselves to claim, to move forward, to take action, right? But doing so gracefully, doing so with love and compassion. I feel like this is really you're going where you we. The collective, this is really about showcasing an example to people, showing, being an example to others, you know, without making other people do anything. It's just, we're just being, we're just doing. And I feel like that's just going to create a beautiful ripple effect where people are going to notice, where people are, go are going to be impacted with your grace, with your love, with your... Uh, independence as well that strength that masculine energy too okay it's like that you're influencing without authority you don't need to be authoritative to have influence over people that's not influence over people the government doesn't influence us to do anything i feel like the government creates more illusion and restrictions that people feel like they don't have a choice but we do have a choice it's about stepping into these powers that are innately and rightfully ours. Every single one of us. And it's about being kind to others, being compassionate. Being compassionate. Transcending the illusions in our lives, whether they are again displaced by society, displaced by ourselves, because sometimes we displace illusions, or displaced by other people. We are transcending here. This is a this is this is spirit saying transcend. Okay, let your spirit soar. You can live in more than the earth element. Okay, it's kind of what um, I posted the other day. And uh, I know I'm, I'm planning to make a video talking more about that. Um, and I read a comment actually on that post that someone said, you know, be the fool. Like uh, suggesting that people are going to be fools if they don't choose divinity or if they don't choose to ascend or if they don't choose to transcend. And I thought that that was just probably one of the worst comments I've ever read in a spiritual community because ascending and transcending and awakening is not being more than or less than other people. That's not what awakening is teaching us. Awakening is teaching us to love everyone and to learn how to coexist with everyone, to learn, to be compassionate, to love unconditionally whether someone is awakened or not. Just because you're awakened does not make you any better than someone that is not. I thought that was the worst comment ever. I was shocked that someone would call another person a fool because they weren't awakened. That's not what awakening is. You're not gonna be any better than anyone else. And if you think like that, then you have a lot more work to do. Anyways, that, that comment got me riled up. This is the reading. Spirit is saying, soar. Your spirit can live in more than one element. It's time to do that. Okay? I love you guys so very much. Um, I'm going to continue doing your spiritual growth and your, and your romantic love life readings. Thank you so much for tuning in.